And we're expecting a decision from the FDA this week on COVID-19 booster shots and whether more Americans who got the Pfizer vaccine will be urged to get a third dose. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on new documents released today that suggest it's not an easy call. The plan is for every, every adult to get a booster shot eight months after you got your second shot. President Biden has already outlined a plan to begin rolling out COVID vaccine boosters starting Monday. But if you thought boosters were a done deal, think again. Both the FDA and the CDC need to sign off and say which Americans will be authorized to get them. But regulators are still debating whether boosters are needed at all. This week, two high-ranking FDA officials announced plans to resign. They wrote an op-ed saying current evidence does not appear to show a need for boosting in the general population, arguing there's a better use for the doses. When we think about the global community, we have lots of places where there's just very little vaccination going on at all, and those places are going to generate more cases and more variants. The FDA will meet Friday to make a decision on people who got the Pfizer vaccine first. In the meantime, the agency released dozens of pages of clinical trials and other studies that it's been reviewing. Doing. Pfizer submitted data showing its vaccine becomes less effective about six to eight months following the second dose, not just against infection, but in some cases against severe disease. Pfizer says some data in Israel shows after six months, the vaccine drops below 60% effective against severe disease in people over 65. However, a third dose restores protection to about 95%. But FDA regulators released their own analysis that was more skeptical of those claims of waning efficacy. They cited numbers showing the vaccines still provide protection against severe disease and death in the United States. I think they will probably uh, approve the booster, but for a specific population and put the other population on hold while we have more data. UC San Francisco's Dr. Peter Chinhong says he thinks the FDA is on track to approve boosters for people over 65 only. I think we probably may not want to take a chance with the older population because that's the group that we were most fearful about. So even if we are going to be proactive rather than reactive in that group. I think it makes sense. Other experts agree. I don't actually think that we're going to have this blanket recommendation for the entire country to receive a booster dose at this point. Dr. Christian Raymer says the UK's new booster plan may offer a blueprint. They're rolling out third doses in stages to people over 50, frontline healthcare workers, people in nursing homes, and anyone with significant underlying conditions. Derek Stahl. ABC 10 News. Oh,